Hi, welcome back to the channel. This is Chuck, KK6USY for Ham Radio Ventures. And today, uh, I'm going to show you a 6 meter hex beam, hex beam that is, that I built a few years ago. And if you look at the beginning of my uh, intros, it's the one spinning on the front of the trailer. Um, pretty cool little antenna, and I'm going to go through it, show you how what I used to make it, and then uh, also I'll show you on the computer there how to, uh, where I got all my specs. So let's get on to the intro. Okay, this is a six meter hex beam. If you look at the, uh, this is the plate that it's on, this is aluminum got a hole in the middle for the pole um, it doesn't really come up I just put the hole there originally I don't know why I put it there <laughs> and what I've done here is these these poles here that go out to the end to the little yellow connectors like we used in the moxin they only come to here instead of using u-bolts to kind of keep things lighter I just use screws with nuts and then the, the poles only go in so far, which actually gives you a little more length on the poles. Um, I've got a, just a feed line with a barrel connector to uh, hook to the other coax that goes to the radio. Now, on a hex beam, you see here the wire does not go across this one. What it does is it goes down, and this is half of your dipole. There's your other half that goes the other way. Okay, they come around. They come down to this point here where it's got a loop in it. And then it's got a special size space that goes from here to here to the reflector. Now the reflector goes all the way around to there, to there, over to there. And then right there, just like the other side, it's hard to see uh, where the little silver thing is there. Let me see if I can bring it in. Okay, so I can't get it to come in. Let me go to the other side and I'll show that to you. It's basically the same thing as this side. So over here you have the same thing. Your reflector ends here, in the same place it does on the other side. Head uh, straight across, you get your space, and then your other side of the dipole that goes around and back to the middle again. This, what I used here, this is 3, three eighths, um Schedule 80 PVC. And I just have everything painted kind of green to camouflage it a little bit. And then here's the, here's the bottom side. You don't really need to do this, and I'll tell you a way when I show you on on the on the computer where I got all the instructions for all this. I'll show you a different or tell you a different way to do this. If you remember my moxin, 20 meter moxin, that's probably an easier and better way to do it. I'll probably change this eventually. But then there's your screws that we had for up above. Then the other ones are underneath this little thing here. This actually made it. It was kind of nice, but it made it kind of heavy. All right, well, let me set this up on a, pole, on a pole and tripod, and we'll do a little sweep of the uh, SWR on it. What I did here is actually put in build your own hex beam, and this, this site cam, comes up. You just click on it. Now, in this whole site here, they'll tell you exactly all the measurements on, on how to build your own hex beam. Um, general, if you just click on general, this is the general section. It shows you this was the original type of hex beam and this is what it's um, gone into this is a, a better design and I, forget, I think this guy here uh, g3txq designed this style it just it has a, little, a few things that are better about it that you can read about it um, and there's a description then steps to build well here's your description sorry 
and this is how it kind of looks. This is from the top view, the side view. The nice thing about the uh, hex beam is that it's real easy, or, or fairly easy, to add multiple bands to it. So you can go, um, I think they do 6 through 20. And then some of them are actually doing um, 40 meter, but 40 meter is just a single um, rotatable dipole, basically. It doesn't have two elements. And you can go into the base plate. It tells you, shows you how they design this base plate, how to cut it out. And for my little six meter one, I did this exact cutout pretty much, um, <laughs> the closest I could get. And but I used really thin material. I used uh, some uh, material I had from leftover from an old sign and. Uh, for six meter, it's fine. But if you're going to build a big one, go by their specs. It'll it'll do you a lot more good. It'll it'll it be a lot more. It'll just be a more solid platform to build off of. And it shows all your things here. And I built mine pretty much like this, except that I use bolts instead of um, U bolts. I just use regular bolts. And I, I forget how I did the front. I, we'll see that in the when I show it to you. And one of the harder parts is this right here, trying to get something to actually attach it to the pole. And what you can do here, if you look at my um, my mocks and how I did it, that would be a pretty easy way to do it by putting a couple pieces of L bracket on on here and then attaching some U bolts to hook it to the to your um, your mast. Then it goes into the spreader arms. Now, spreader arms are going to be something that um, depends on which antenna you're making. For 6 meter, I used uh, their electric fence stakes from uh, Tractor Supply, along with the end pieces that I showed you before, and they mox in, and I'll show you in this one also. So it really depends on how far you're going to... If you're going to do 20, you better... You have to get some pretty good stuff that's going to be solid enough to hold everything and, and, and hold it far enough out. Now on mine, I didn't really need a center post because I only did one band, but here's how they, they tell you how to make the center post. And it's all pretty reasonably made. Um, this is just um, PVC here, it looks like. And they just run your, they, give, they tell you how to get your screws in there. And I've done this before, it works. Um, and then you just run your, your coax from, from band to band. I'm going to do something similar to this on my, uh, my box and I'm going to add 10 and 15 to it, I think, eventually, especially when 10 comes back, because 10's a, a great uh, band to get some DX on and make some contacts. Then it comes into the wire sets. Now, I have to tell you, uh, I think it I think it tells you two different ones. I think one with insulation, one without, and I did exactly what they did, and mine came out really almost dead on, so I didn't even mess with it after that. But somewhere in here, it, I'm going to let you, like, here's a specifications page here. Let's see what that says. Yeah, there's your, your measurements. It's PVC insulated wire and then bare wire. And they're, they're pretty close. And you can make some minor adjustments if you need to. Finally, it, it tells you how to assemble it. And it's, it's pretty easy. I've played with this once before. I didn't have enough um, of the fishing poles to build it at the time. Uh, so I abandoned the, the build at that time other than my 6 meter. And just to let you know, my 6 meter, the SWR on that thing is perfect on 2 meter. Now, whether or not it's sending the signal in the direction that I think it's sending it, I don't know about that for sure. I haven't used it that much on 2 meter, but it does work. Oh, then here's your specs again. I, and then, then your mast. They go into, this is for a full size one. This is, my little six meter doesn't take much. I took it to Arizona to a quartz fest, had it up about, I think 10 feet only. And I made five or six contacts on six meter there. And it wasn't even six meter season really. And, and most, but most of my contacts were all people that were around camping and doing the same thing. And then they go into parts if you want to build your own. I mean, this is this is building a full-fledged twenty to six. So, 
they give you all the all the everything you need in here. This this, this guy sells them too, but uh, he's nice enough to uh, go in here and let people know exactly how to build your own if you want to. That's what the ham ham radio is all about: people helping people, you know. And then he goes in here all the facts, uh, questions people might have, and you can read through all that stuff too. And then he he has a thing here where you can contact him if you have any any further questions. All right, let's look here. Let me uh, turn this on. Okay, we're let's go to the six meter band. There we go. Um, this is pretty much set for the calling frequency area, which is fifty one two five. So let's go down to there and just let's just start it. Let's just start at fifty. So at 50, we're 1.2, Yeah, one two five or so. It's hard to get this. Okay, we're 1.3. One, and it starts climbing again around 52. So in that sideband, which is what I made it for, it's it's pretty good. It's like 1.2, 1 1.3. So let me show you one other thing that's kind of cool. I haven't actually tried this yet um, on a meter. Let's go to the 2 meter band. Here's a 2 meter band. Um, let's see, 146, 1.8. It's it's actually pretty good. It's 1.5. And it goes up. The 147. It's 1.9, a little high there. So, um, what was it? 144, 300. And 1.5. So I mean, you could use it there. I don't know what direction it points though. It, it, it may have lobes off the sides. You may have to play with it. So the front may not be the front. All right. Now, I, it, it's probably a little bit better once I get it up a little higher. I'm only about, oh, I'd say, uh, let's see, we're probably about, eight or nine feet so and on the front of my trailer when you guys look at the beginning of my videos the intro this is the antenna that's turning in the front on the front of the trailer that might have been 20 feet I thought it was 10 but it, actually it might be 20 feet and it did pretty good down there and uh, that was Arizona well I hope you enjoyed the video it was uh, that antenna was a lot of fun uh, I take it with me on camping trips I took to Colorado I took it down to Arizona so uh, if you have any questions, you can always either email me or put a comment down below. And if you have something different that you used uh, for 6 meter, uh, let me know. So don't forget to hit that like. If you're new here, hit the uh, subscribe button. Hit the bell for all. That way you'll get all future videos that I put out. So uh, again, thank you for being here and spending your time with me. I know it's important. Everybody be safe. This is Chuck KK6USY for Ham Radio Adventures. 73 all.